Hi folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new battle for you against Joel6781, who I met through the Quid Zat. Um, anyway, I hope you like this background. It's one of uh, my custom backgrounds. I call it Rugs in the Sky, for you know obvious reasons. It looks like you're sitting on Persian rugs. Um, anyway, uh, lead off with my Jufro as he leads off with the Swampert, which I was expecting. I go for the Giga Drain. Um, I've made the mistake of taunting uh, lead Swamperts before, and it's just so stupid because Giga Drain is a one-hit KO, so that's awesome. I take him out, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, here, I go for the Stun Spore, it misses, uh, he goes for the Nasty Plot, uh, and so it didn't really matter in that case. Um, so I'm going to go for the Stun Spore again against his Infernape, but he's going to predict that and switch out into his uh, Rotom Wash form, which I assume is not a Scarf set. Because if it was a scarf set, then that doesn't really make any sense at all. Anyway, I get it paralyzed, so that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Giga Drain here. Um, it would have been actually nicer for um, him to have gone first, uh, so I could have recovered any damage back. He goes for the Pain Split here, so yeah, obviously not a scarf set. Um, doesn't really do much, but uh, it does uh, break my Focus Sash, which is a little bit sad for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and taunt on this turn. Uh, just to, you know, make sure it can't do Pain Split again. And indeed, he went for the will o -Wiffs. So, um, really great that that happened, and, you know, my Jufro didn't get Burn, um, because a Burn Pro is not a happy pro. Um, he goes ahead and switches at this point into his Togekiss. I go for the Giga Drain here to recover back some health. Um, I was hoping to get back to full. Unfortunately, with the Switch and the fact that it's resisted, I'm really lucky that that critted, but I, I'm too short of getting my Focus Sash back, which is super, super sad. Now, the correct move here would have been to go for the Taunt, because most of what makes Togekiss um, threatening is its status moves, but I don't, uh, and so he's going to go for the T-Wave as I go for the Switch. I figured that he was going to predict me to stay in and Taunt, and so he was going to go for the Air Slash and KO, so that's why that happened, but oh well, he outpredicted me. It happens. Um, he's going to go for the Air Slash here, and I'm just hoping that Volt Switch is going to be enough to take him out. I'm thinking about replacing, so um, this Rotom, it's a Spex Rotom, runs um, Volt Switch, uh, what are the other three moves? Volt Switch, um, Overheat, Dark Pulse, and Trick. I never use Trick, because I like the fact that it has a, um, I like the fact that it has Specs, so yeah, maybe I should switch that off for T-Bolt, anyway, whatever. Uh, go ahead and switch in Karakost here, thinking that an, um, an Aqua Jet is going to take him out. Unfortunately, it doesn't. He's going to go ahead and T-Wave me. Really, really would have paid dividends for me to taunt. But, oh well. Hindsight is 2020 and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and Air Slash here and just hope it KOs. And now my Caracasta is going to be so crippled in this match because there's no point in Shell Smashing because it's going to stay slow as molasses. He goes ahead and sends out his Scrafty. Um, I'm gonna, and he goes for the Dragon Dance, so this is a Dragon Dance set, unlike the bulk up set in the other battle I uploaded today. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out already, I've uploaded a battle to my channel that is in many ways similar to this battle, although it has an air of mystery to it as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, so he's gonna keep on Dragon Dancing, and I stayed in because I didn't want him to get a free Dragon Dance, but he's basically getting free Dragon Dances up anyway, especially considering Hoover is paralyzed and keeps getting the Parahacks. Uh, and so, worse than that, He's got the Drain Punch, so I, me staying in just means that he's going to have free recovery fodder. He doesn't actually get me down to my Sash, um, or my Sturdy rather, considering uh, thanks to the fact that um, I haven't gotten any Shell Smashes up. So yeah, uh, my Earthquakes aren't really doing anything. Uh, he's going to go for I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet here, uh, predicting him to attack. Uh, but instead, he'd gone for the uh, he goes for the Dragon Dance. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep on uh, aqua jetting here uh, just to try to do as much damage as possible um, before I get uh, before I get KO'd. Uh, yeah, unfortunately the Parahax is hitting me left and right, and he's going to go ahead and take out my Karakasa this turn. So I was really, really stupid to leave um, Hoover in. I just th thought to myself, well, I don't really have anything to deal with the Scrafty, which is of course really stupid because I have Hitmon top to deal with Scrafty. Why the hell did I set in Jufro? Jufro is no, does not have Focus Sash. Oh, right, I go for the Stun Spore here, um, because I saw that it was Moxie, so it, it, I knew that it uh, didn't have Shed Skin, but he has the Lumberry. Uh, I think I'd missed seeing, I thought he had uh, Leftovers, but I was thinking of my other match. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and go for the insanely boosted Ice Punch, 
Uh, and since he has Moxie now, he's going to be at like plus five. I've lost count of how many um, attack boosts he's gotten. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send out Puff, my Magic Dragonite here, hoping that I can live one hit and hoping that Extreme Speed will do enough damage to KO. But of course it's not. I looked up Scrafty stats later. I really should have done that before the match. Um, Scra because I had a battle with Scrafty before where it swept my team. Um, and, uh, you know, Scrafty has amazing defenses, even without the bulk ups, uh, which is what the other Scrafty that swept my team was using. Um, it's a pretty amazing Pokemon. So anyway, I go ahead and send out my Cosmic F at this point. Um, and really, had I gone for the revenge early on, before it got all the boosts, I would have KO'd. It would have been no problem, and it would have been dead. I actually did the calcs, and either Technician boosted or, you know, Revenge revenge, revenge boosted would have either one hit KO'd or two hit KO'd. But I sent it in too late, and now I've got to do nothing. And so now I'm down to pretty much my last few Pokemon. Nothing can take this guy on. Um, Jirachi only has two attacks, uh, Doom Desire and um, uh, Psy Shock. Doom Desire is not going to hit for three turns, and Psy Shock it doesn't isn't going to hit him at all thanks to his Dark Typing. Yeah, Scrafty has some pretty awesome typing. Um, I definitely would consider adding Scrafty to my team later on. I don't think it's in any dangers of becoming Uber, um, and it's a really awesome Pokemon. I gotta say, especially if you manage to set up on a noob like me. Um, but so anyway, Tachikoma, I believe, is my last Pokemon, and this is going to be the game. Uh, so, yeah, great game, Joel6781. Uh, I swear I'm usually a better battler than this, and in the future I think I'm going to know how to deal with Scrafty. But, oh well. Um, folks in the audience, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.